You have been found guilty of goading and provocation. Big Brother hereby issues you a serious warning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Nee Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. So guys, Big Brother just finished um, his summoning of the housemates to the lounge where he issued a serious warning to Chi Chi in court. I don't know how to feel about this. Trust me, I am disappointed because from all the fiasco and everything that happened last night, I totally, sorry, but in this case, I totally disagree with Big Brother. Serious warning and Beauty got a strike for her first offense with Ile Baye. Seriously? Nah. Which one is serious warning now? I mean, she was found guilty of violence. She was found guilty of goading, of provocation. I mean, like, that's a strike. I mean, what's good for the goose is supposed to be good for the gander. Am I, am I making sense or not? Like, when I heard serious warning, I'm like, kilo day. Like, what's this? I am disappointed. I mean, I am seriously, seriously disappointed in this. Diana does not just deserve, you know, the person that did all that to her, made her cry, made her emotionally downcast to be just given what a serious warning. What is a serious warning and a punishment? Because punishment, maybe tomorrow they'll give her rice and beans to pick out. Like, no, now. Her body still never calmed down. Even with all her, you know, telling Fina, oh, thank you for... um calming me down and all that i don't think she's actually learned her lesson i think at this point since big brother is becoming very strict he should issue her a strike because right now it's not fair to be very honest i'm just pissed i'm just pissed like i did not intend to start this video by ranting but i just have to seriously anyways um all of them are all for possible eviction but no it's not actually a real eviction it's actually a fake eviction because big brother has given them a week you know to bond and to know each other before next week and trust me the next week evictions is going to be a total sweep i'm thinking because it's a fake eviction the two fake housemates might leave that is um modella and deji i think they've i mean they've overstayed their welcome at this point the riders can stay that is cheesy and rachel because they're actually Actually doing their job for Modela and Deji. I think this is the right time for them to be evicted. Yes, guys, that's what I think. And congratulations to Chomsey, baby. Yes, guys, I don't know why. I mean, I started off not really liking Chomsey at all, but somehow I see myself liking her. This happens to me every season. Duh, like I'm super proud of her. Like, she is the first female head of house. Like, Bella came close. I mean, I love this Bella I'm seeing, I love this athletic Bella, this competitive Bella that I'm seeing, not the Bella that was really overshadowed by a ship. I love the fact that Bella actually came close, if not that. She actually did this whole thing upside down. She filled the um um is it the test tube upside down. If not, she actually did win. Um, so by default, Chomzy won. Yes, guys, it was indeed a very funny head of house games, if you ask me, because they were given Dankwa. For those of you who do not know what Dankwa is, if you're in the not like me, you would know what Dankwa is. It's made of um, how do I put it? Granuts, uh, peanuts, and ginger and all those things. Now they were asked to pick with the amount of the down quad from the bowl to the plate and cover that distance and they have like a total of 20 down quads and all that and they had like i think two minutes to do that so the girls went first the guys went first at the end of the day all the guys were disqualified because they picked more than one at a time daniela and chomsey had 15 15 each but daniela was disqualified because she picked more than one at a time and bella was the closest because she had 12 so bella and chomsey went at it and chomsey won by default because of bella's mistake yes guys now when I saw that down, I'm like, how were they going to carry that thing with their mouth? For those of you who do not know it, that down is like, I think it's a snack, but it's, 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 ha, how do I put it? It's round, but then it's not easy to carry. If you, even if you make a mistake and pick it with your hand, it's, it's kind of like turn into powder easily. So kudos to them. They actually did it. And knowing that some of this down has a lot of ginger or pepper in it, somebody like me that doesn't like pepper at all, or more, I would have been crying, like carrying that thing with my mouth. Anyways, congratulations to Chomzy. Yes, she picked Elo Swag as his, or as her deputy and both of them have immunity. Not that it matters, to be very honest, because all of them are actually free from possible eviction. And the head of house has been opened, head of house room, sorry, has been opened tonight. But see, 
a lot of people are disappointed with this head of house room, but I am really disappointed, but I'm going to tell you something that a lot of people did not know. That head of house room is the original head of house room that they had during the Pepe Them season. I don't know if a lot of you remember. Yes, guys, that's the original head of house room. The head of house room they had last season is the place where they made um, the, the colorful house, where the level two people were originally. Yes, guys, that was where it... um we had our head of house room last season so yes for those of you who are wondering why is big brother why is that place small this is actually the original head of house room it was locked up you know last season and you know this season they are bringing it back you know big brother you know how he turned the old party room to the salon and all that big brother is always changing things in his house making it kind of like unpredictable for us anyways as the show progresses we are in the fifth week trust me emotions are high people are forming clicks i mean i'm shocked you know by bella shex and chichi the way they were trying to like made themselves look like saints in the presence of Groovy and Fina. I don't know. Ah, why is it that it looks like this um this level one housemate are spineless? I'm going to say it. Like this whole rumor that was flying around, you know, and all that, it looks as if um they are kind of afraid of admitting to Fina what they said. Because the truth is they actually said what they said. I remember that day. I remember I came here and I did a video how Amaka was downloading juice to Chichi. And of all the level two housemates, Amaka is the only housemate that some of them or most of them nominated. Like if this was a real eviction or a real nomination, Amaka's name would have popped up. And I'm asking myself, why would Chomzi pick Amaka? Why would um, Elo Swag pick Amaka? Why would um, Modella pick Amaka? What exactly is going on? Do, is it that they have seen that Amaka is like a snitch? Because trust me, I mean, what other reason do you think that they will pick Amaka of all the level two housemates? The rest of the people that were mentioned, you know, were level one housemates. I mean, Amaka should really just watch her back and watch what she says. Because even, you know, during the, or after the nominations, we saw her talking to Dotun about Diana and Gidifaya saying that, okay, maybe Diana is trying to play a game. I'm like, girl, watch what you say. Aside from that, I don't know what Modela's issue with Amaka is because she was downloading the gist of what happened when we when they were in the colorful house to um Doyin about how Amaka was not really or how Amaka downplayed her victory during the show max tax. You guys remember that Amaka said, Oh, that it's not as if she deserved it, it's because they were giving people that you know we are laid back and Kes kind of like attacked her and all that. You guys remember, so Modela still has that in mind. And to be honest, Amaka is really not helping her case, especially with this whole gossip thing that started this morning. Um, Daniela was, you know, telling Rachel that she actually feels that Amaka, that's the kind of thing that Amaka can say. Yes, guys. And I mean, it's a whole lot of, you know, chaotic scenes, you know, happening in the Big Brother Niger house. Um... I just said, you know, want me come and bring you guys up to date with what has been happening with your faves. Yes, guys. So Fina really did not um, execute her tax as the tale of house properly last week. Remember that Saturday when Groovy, you know, was, I think Friday, yeah, when Groovy was moved to the other house and she was talking, even other housemates were telling her, Fina, Fina, and she kept on talking. Yes, guys. So Bibada said because of that, she'll continue being the tale of house up to, you know, this week. And Bibada gave her a notepad in case she has anything to say when that sound comes on. So she's not allowed to talk during that time. Now, that's not even the gist. The gist is, when she was feeling down and I think they were going to their room and Groovy held her and was like, don't worry, next week I'm going to win this for us. I'm like, oh, I refuse to believe Groovy. Nah, I refuse to believe this. This is a trap. That's how they trapped Emma Roshi past last year. They're not going to get me. They're not going to get Azimi at all. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. Thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Till I come your way again. I remain your darling girl, A.Z. Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.